Good evening. The Catholic Church has gone to the highest court in England, the Supreme Court, to argue why it's not fully to blame for decades of child abuse in East Yorkshire. More than 150 men say that they were physically and sexually abused as teenagers by members of a Catholic Brotherhood who ran the St William's Residential School at Market Wheaton on behalf of the church. If the church loses the case, it'll be faced with multi-million pound compensation claims. Phil Connell was at the hearing. He's joining me now. Uh, what is the church saying, Phil? Well, there's no dispute, Peter, that boys were abused at St. William's School. What is in dispute at the Supreme Court is who was responsible at the time of this abuse and ultimately who will pay compensation, which we're told could now total around £8 million. Now, this is the highest court in the land at which this case could be heard. So whatever ruling is made here, it's one which all parties will have to agree to. St William's School in Market Wheaton has now been demolished, but for 35 years, its alleged vulnerable boys were sexually abused here by members of a Roman Catholic order who taught them. Graham Baverstock, who now lives in Bridlington, was one of those abused. He says he was 14 when it started and is now amongst 170 alleged victims fighting for compensation. I'm going to find it hard to swallow that anybody will get anything from the Catholic Diocese either feeling that we'll all be dead before we even get on to compensation. The courts have already ruled the Catholic Diocese of Middlesbrough was responsible for what happened at the school, but at the Supreme Court today, the diocese has begun proceedings to appeal that decision. A spokesman for the diocese says the De La Salle brothers, a teaching ministry who ran the school, should share responsibility with them and ultimately the cost of compensation. Well, the diocese's position is that they are, as the nominal employer, they obviously share liability. In others, we believe we are partially liable. But yes, the order which did have the day-to-day -day running of the school, they were the ones who chose the, the staff, they were the ones who were responsible when things went wrong for putting them right, that they should at least uh, share that liability. That's a very, very important point in principle. The victims' claims for compensation began in 2004 after James Carragher, a member of the De La Salle brothers and the school's former headmaster, was found guilty of abusing boys and jailed for 14 years. The court heard today that 150 separate claims had now been served, with 146 claimants alleging they'd been abused by one or more members of the Brotherhood. 121 cases relate to the former brother James Carragher, though allegations have also been made against 20 other members of the religious order. Well, I've been astonished at the way in which the two Roman Catholic organisations have used legal issues to try and avoid responsibility. I would have thought that given the type of organisation they are, they would have used some kind of compassion and come to some kind of arrangement. For the victims, meanwhile, the Supreme Court's ruling means an end to their eight-year legal battle could soon be in sight. A chance, says Graham, for someone to admit responsibility and say sorry. Well, whatever decision is reached at the Supreme Court, the victims will have to wait a little longer. Although the five judges will uh, finish hearing the evidence tomorrow, a final ruling won't be made until September or October. After that, the lawyers hope that claims for compensation can be settled within a year.